Now what I am commanding you today is not too difficult for you or beyond your reach. It is not up in heaven so that you have to ask. Who will ascend into heaven to get it and proclaim it to us so we may obey it? Nor is it beyond the sea so that you have to ask. Who will cross the sea to get it and proclaim it to us so we may obey it? No, the word is very near to you. It is in your mouth and in your heart so that you may obey it. See, I set before you today life and prosperity, death and destruction, For I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to him, and to keep his commands, decrees, and laws. Then you will live and increase, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to possess. See, the blessings comes after your obedience. You have to ask yourself, am I following God's law, or am I still trying to keep up with the world, or what the people are doing on my timeline? But if your heart turns away and you are not obedient, and if you are drawn away to bow down to other gods and worship them, I declare to you this day that you will certainly be destroyed. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. See, what we have to understand is people have no heaven or hell to put you in. The only one we need to be worshiping is God. You have to ask yourself, who am I praising more than God? Then it says, this day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Now choose life so that you and your children may live and that you may love the Lord your God. Listen to his voice and hold fast to him. For the Lord is your life and he will give to you many years in the land he swore to give to your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See, although God gives us the option to choose, he desperately wants us to choose life. Why, you may ask, because what father you know wouldn't want what's best for his own children. So choose life. Take care of yourself.